This project is sponsored by Ace Hardware, Ace, the helpful place, and Technor Apex, maker of the Zero-G Hose, the hose that takes the work out of yard work. Look for it at your local Ace Hardware or at acehardware.com. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. In this episode, I'm going to build a fish cleaning work table. I think this is a great addition to any dock. It's a, a lot of fun to build, and <laughs> even more fun to use if you want to build it. There'll be free plans on my website, and I'll have a link in the description. Let's get started. All right, I've got all of my two by sixes cut to length at 18 and a half inches. I squared up one edge on the joiner just because I, I like to work like that. It's easier to work off a square edge. Now I'm going to measure up four and five eighths at one end and I'll put a mark and I'll measure from the bottom three and a quarter. And again, I'll make a mark and now I'll use this aluminum straight edge and trace a line from mark to mark. I'm making sure the cutoff is hanging off the table so I don't cut into the table and I'll make the cut with my circular saw. Now I'm working on the front and back of the table. I'll square up the edge on the joiner and then cut them to length at 40 inches. To find the angle, I'll use a piece of scrap wood and trace it on the edge of the board. I'll set the angle of the blade at 4 degrees and adjust the fence for the board at the front and then adjust the fence again for the board at the back of the table. To build the frame of the table, I'm using 3 inch long deck screws and I'll pre-drill and countersink for each screw. For the top of the work table, I'm using 1x4 EPEG. This stuff is really dense and hard, and it cuts better with the corded saw, and I've got a better blade on this saw. I've also set up a stop block so I only need to measure once. Before bringing the boards outside to attach, I'll rip the 4 degree angle on one edge of the two outside boards. You definitely want to pre-drill and countersink with EPE decking. It's so easy to break a screw. I'm using a 732nd drill bit for the larger hole and an 8th inch drill bit for the smaller hole. To attach the decking, I'm using stainless steel 2 and a quarter trim head screws. For the apron around the tabletop, I'm using half-inch fascia. This is made by Zometech. It's a composite material made from bamboo and recycled plastic. This was left over from the deck I built this spring. And if you didn't see that project, definitely check it out. I'll put a link on the screen. To drill the drainage holes on the one side of the table, I'm using an inch and three-eighths Fossner bit. To attach the fascia board, I'm using stainless steel screws with a color match head. I'm attaching the post six inches from the work side of the table. I've already cut a four degree angle at the top of the four by four post. Now I'll make a mark where I'll need to cut an inch and a half deep lap joint.
After cutting the lap joint, I'll cut the post to length. Then I'll cut another lap joint at the bottom of the post where the post and table will be attached to the dock. For a little decorative edge at the bottom of this post, I'll measure in an inch and a quarter from the outside and then just cut a 45 degree angle. I'll pre-drill and countersink the post as a preparation to attach the table to the dock with lag bolts and washers. To support the tabletop, I've made brackets from a 2x6. I've ripped it down to 4 and a quarter, and I'll cut a 45 degree angle at each end. This is another support made from a 2x8, ripped down to 6 and 3 quarters, and this will tie the two posts together. To make it look a little nicer, I used the chamfer bit to add a decorative edge. And the last step is to make this simple bracket to hang the hose. Okay, well, that was a fun project and we had even more fun using it over this holiday weekend. Not so much for cleaning fish, although I did cut some bunker in half for the crab traps, but we did go clamming. I've got a few clams and it's just a nice area to work on. A big thank you to Ace Hardware and Technor Apex for supporting my channel. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.